Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US, and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this Warm Hugs Coffee and Donuts Treat Box. It is sized to fit a K-cup in the top, and in the bottom of the box, I've got some Krispy Kreme donut bites. How cool is this? I love this idea. And my inspiration came from this month's paper pumpkin kit. I created sort of a half cracker box here. And I'm gonna show you how to make this without the envelope punch board, which we're used to using. And it's a really easy box to make, even though it looks pretty complicated. So let me show you how. I'm starting with a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock that measures six and a half inches by nine and three quarter inches. Along the six and a half inch side, we're gonna score this at every inch. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and we're gonna score this at seven eighths, six and seven eighths, seven and a half, and eight and one eighth. I'm gonna put the Simply Scored off to the side. We're gonna do some burnishing first, but then we're gonna come back to the Simply Scored. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on all the score lines. Now with that 7 8 section along the bottom, you'll see we have these three score lines here along the top. We're actually gonna fold those sort of in an accordion fold. So the bottom and the top score lines, we're gonna fold backwards and burnish. And then the middle score line, we're gonna fold the opposite direction. Like so. So it's gonna kinda of look like this if you look at it from the side. Now I'm gonna bring back the Simply Scored. All right, so I'm gonna fold backwards on that middle of the three score lines. So I'm folding that towards me. I've got my half inch section here along the right, and I'm gonna press that folded edge right up along the top of the Simply Scored. Using the ball tip of the stylus, I'm gonna make little tick marks and I'm literally just pressing the ball tip of the stylus where the measurements that I wanna make the tick marks are and that's real easy. It's gonna be at every quarter inch and three quarter inch within each of the inches. So quarter inch, three quarters, quarter inch, three quarters and just keep going until you can't go any further. We're essentially making these little tick marks at every half inch but we're staggering it around the score lines. So see all those little marks? Those are gonna help us with cutting. Okay, so now that we've made those marks, I'm gonna rotate this 180. So I've got my little tick marks are along the bottom here. And let me quick show you the template to show you what we're about to do. All right, so on the template, we're gonna create these little diamonds, but it's actually really easy if you do it with the paper folded. This is similar to how I've cut cardstock with a couple of impossible boxes. I'm gonna bring in my paper snips and starting at that first tick mark here, cut on the diagonal down to that score line. As long as you keep the paper folded, it's really easy. Now we're gonna kinda of zigzag. So I'm always gonna go from the little tick mark into where that score line is. So we're basically just cutting out those score lines, almost like cutting out a triangle, like so. And I'm just gonna continue to work my way down until those are all cut. So this is what the pieces will look like when they cut out. We basically just remove the score lines. And now when we open this up, there are little diamond cutouts. So that really serves the purpose that the envelope punch board used to serve. So it's gonna look like that. All right, now, before we get ready to put this box together, we've got a couple of cuts to make. I'm gonna remove this lower corner rectangle, also coming in and notching here on the half inch side. Then I'm gonna cut up each of these vertical score lines along the bottom, stopping at that first horizontal score line. Like so. And then just one tiny little snip right here at the top on this little half inch section, just cutting off a little angle there. Now I'm bringing in some pieces of the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. I have six pieces that measure seven eighths of an inch by five and seven eighths, and six pieces that measure seven eighths by one and a half inches. So these pieces are gonna glue in the tall and short sections, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with multi-purpose liquid glue.
All right, now that's done. Look how cool that looks. I'm gonna grab some tear and tape here. I'm gonna run that along the half inch section right up to the score line. And don't worry, this is gonna cover over the little cutout part, but I'll show you a trick to cut it. I'm just gonna fold backwards on that fold again, and then we can just snip off a little excess of the tear and tape. All right, so let's go ahead and remove that backing. If you have any excess, just fold it back on itself. Now I'm gonna fold, I'm flipping this over, folding on the second score line from the left and the second score line from the right, and those are gonna lay right where we want them to go. Like that, okay? So it's got that hexagon shape. Now to close the bottom, we're gonna do sort of a kaleidoscope fold here. And I'm just gonna do one tab at a time, always putting the next tab over the top, just rotating around one by one. And then this last one needs to go on top of this one, but under this one. So just work your paper a little bit. See how it's like that? And then we'll just press that into place, okay? Now, we're gonna finish that off in just a second. Let's go ahead and put our donut bites in here first. I like to just kind of fold out, fold these corners out of the way. We'll slide that right into the box. All right, now let's grab some ribbon. We've got this beautiful real red sheer ribbon. And I'm gonna tie that around the top here. I do wanna make sure where my seam is. Just rotating, all right, so this is the back panel. So I'm gonna lay it that way on my desktop and go ahead and tie a bow. I'm gonna use my reverse tweezers here to hold that knot while I tie the bow. All right, so there is that bow there, okay? Now for the bottom, I found that I obviously don't like the way that it's finished off. So I punched a one and a half inch circle from Pear Pizzazz, and I found that hot glue works the best for this because it makes it lay flat better than using liquid glue. So I've just got my hot glue gun here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue right there on that circle. And then we'll place that. I'm kind of squaring up that hexagon first before I press that down. And then I can flip it this way and press it down as well. All right, so that's now adhered. It's gonna stand up fine on its own. And I've got the K cup that's gonna fit just perfectly in the top there. It's not gonna fall out on its own, but it's easy to come out like so, okay? So let's go ahead and decorate this. We're using the Warm Hugs Bundle. I've done all the cutting and stamping ahead of time to try to save some time. We're using the sentiment Warm Hugs to You all season long. I stamped that in real red onto Whisper White. The two coffee mug stamps, I stamped those in Mossy Meadow. Then we're gonna use the following dies. So this one I cut out in Pear Pizzazz. This one I cut out the round circle sentiment. This in a real red piece. And then there's the cute little coffee mug die cut as well. So I have these pieces to work with. How cute are those? Just gonna use liquid glue and layer these together. For the mug, I'm just gonna grab a pair of mini dimensionals. So that pops up a little bit. We'll place that right in the center. I'm just gonna grab a tiny rhinestone. Just place that right in the center of the mug. Look at how cute that looks layered. And I'm just gonna grab two mini glue dots. Just gonna throw those on the back here just so that sticks to our K cup. Just threw two glue dots back there. You can do more if you like. And then we're just gonna cover up that. Should be pretty easy to pull off for the recipient. Like so. And there we have our Warm Hugs Coffee and Donuts gift box. I love how this turned out. It's such a cool looking box. And you could certainly adapt this for so many different occasions. This is perfect for a teacher gift, a neighbor gift, you name it. You can change it up for the holidays, for Thanksgiving, the fall, just a really, really fun treat box. So thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I use today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. And if you don't want to miss a thing, you can subscribe to receive blog updates via email and you'll receive an email each time I publish a new post. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle and it's a great way to fill your wish list for less. I'd love to welcome you to the Stampin' Up! family and my team of Paper Pixies. To do so, you can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can order catalogs through me at thepaperpixie.com catalogs. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.